Let's quickly get onto the telephone lines. I told you that the National Democratic Party NDP will be acclaiming former uh, First Lady Nana Kunedrajman Rawlings mm. at its uh, Congress, uh, some kind of Congress tomorrow, Saturday, at the Nath Hall. We'll quickly have Alaji Mohammed Frimpong on the line. So, Alaji, thanks very much. Uh, we finally got through to you. So, I want you to yeah. tell us how uh, the party arrived on Nana Kunedrajman Rawlings to be the flag bearer, which you're going to acclaim her. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, uh, we uh, picked her from a short list of three aspirants. Uh, we have one of our uh, North American reps uh, who came down, you know, for the contest. Uh, the European rep uh, who was also interested, unfortunately, could not make it because of the COVID restrictions. Uh, after the three after the three uh, made known their intentions and pick forms, uh, NEC had to decide uh, on the fate of uh, each of them. So mm. uh, on our consideration, uh, it's, it's much easier to market, uh, I mean, Dr. Nana, Mrs. Kunadraj Marolins, as the former flag bearer and leader of the party mm. uh, on, on, on her records, you know, uh, given... Uh, our situation, uh, we prefer that most of our regional executives and uh, us, because the extended neck, as I put it, uh, preferred uh, candidature for now. Now that, by God's grace, she's still healthy, you know, I mean, she's teen aging rather than, you know, I mean, becoming very old. So we preferred uh, candidature. So that is it. Right. So, so there are many, there are many who yeah. keep asking the question, why should yeah. Ghanaians take the NDP serious since uh, the Nanakuri Rajma Rollins lost the elections in 2016? She performed woefully. She didn't even get up to 0.1%. But yeah. since then, we really never heard from your party or her in any major policy discussions over the year. And then suddenly you're here again. It's time for elections. You're presenting yeah. her. Should we take yeah. you serious? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it is just, I mean, your question presupposes that uh, opinions must be static. I mean, unfortunately, opinions are not static. Uh, over the years, I mean, in four years, I mean, we've been on the ground. And uh, there's every indication that, I mean, our following and, uh, I mean, quite a good proportion of the electorate uh, wants her, uh, you know, to be at the forefront, of course. As a political party, we are playing our role. I mean, in the, I mean, shaping national discourse and making sure that at least uh, we also shape the opinion of the public. Uh, this definitely will not be on your platform, so you would, you may have not realized it. Uh, and that is why delegates are coming, uh, you know, from all over the regions, you know, to participate in making sure that it's democratically mm. um, she's endorsed. And then uh, God will come tomorrow. We will adore her you know, by the requirements, you know, statutory requirements of the EC. Right. So, so I mean, your, your proposition that we have not been taking part in major national discourse uh, uh, will, not, will not hold. Mm. Right. So, so yeah. I, let's touch on the conference itself. I've, yeah. I've seen elsewhere that uh, former President Jerry John Rawlings will be chairing uh, the conference as a special guest. Can you confirm to us that that's indeed the case? Okay, let me say that our foundation draws from the vision of the Rawlinses. And uh, at such important occasion, uh, we cannot, you know, uh, leave them behind. I mean, we've invited him as a special guest of honor. You know, I mean, if he makes it better for us, you know, so that's the most important but thing. But you have a day to go. You have a day to go. And this is the husband of your flag bearer. Are you not yeah. able to tell me emphatic whether he's coming or not? No, just like any personality who you invite as special guest of honor, you know, I mean, they may give you your word. And, but, uh, but, but this is and, not you know, any personality. I beg your pardon. He's the husband of the flag bearer and the former I'm, president, the founder talking, of the party you broke away from. Uh, we didn't break away from any party. We didn't. We... We existed long before uh, you think that 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 breakaway came. It is a, a political process. It is uh, a contest. You know, I mean, we may not have the same ideals, but in any case, I'm speaking as a general secretary. I don't. I'm not putting in um, 
uh, spouse, I mean, relationships between spouse. We, as a party, the neck, it is not the, the, the flag bearer who is inviting uh, 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 the founder, I mean, uh, uh, the founder's uh, spouse. We are inviting him as a special guest of honor. And um, that is it. So uh, we expect him to be there. Mm. But I'm, the I'm, finding it, I'm finding it extremely difficult to, how you rationalize this because the, the founder is important. I agree with you. And his yeah. ideals form your party. I agree exactly. with that too. But exactly. your flag bearer was a vice um, chairman of the, of, the, of the opposition NDC. And you yeah. say she didn't break away from it. That's fair. But you're inviting yeah. the founder on the yes. basis of uh, the launching of the political ambition of her wife, his wife, exactly. who, yes. who was an integral part of the opposition. The, the thing is that oh. there are those yes. who argue that these occurrences actually suggest yes. that the NDP's main agenda is to weaken the front of the NDC. Why should, why should, be, why should that be our beef or, 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 or bother? That is not at all. The issue is that uh, we are in a national discourse to seek the best for Ghana, mm. and we have our goals. You understand? The, 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 the extent of leadership that is required in the Fourth Republic, we don't think it's been achieved. And that is what we are advocating. We are advancing a cause for a, a more formidable, formidable leadership right. you know, that gives Ghana the well-being that we are all expecting, the, the aspirations of our people. You know, social justice, right. integrity, poverty, and accountability. These are passive. Right. You know, and the point is that you cannot say that somebody is doing better than you, and therefore you go and relax. That's not the issue. Right. You know, probably for all that you know, uh, you know, now that uh, goodies have become the norm, I would think that that's an illusion. It's a political illusion. You right. must be looking at leadership first. You need leadership that will curb the ills of society. You know, so we, we, I mean, I hope you come around, you know, we'll let you know the highlights, right. you know, of, of what we stand on. Of course, we are going to this uh, in, uh, uh, conference with a team of, I mean, shared uh, uh, leadership uh, for national transformation, human development, uh, empowerment, and, and, and anti-corruption. Right. So Alaji. for us, for us, this is our team. Yeah. Right. Alaji, we're grateful for your time extremely. Alaji, uh, Mohamed Frimpong is a general secretary of the... NDP, which has the flag bearer, uh, the, sorry, which has the flag bearer as former uh, first lady. So, Bella, interesting conversations, interesting outcomes. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's it. Uh, we